welcome back to my channel so today I have a really exciting video for you guys and I'm going to be trying the new nip and fab makeup range so many of you messaged me asking of like what I think about it but I've never actually tried it I just bought a few bits and I'm just going to show you what I think of it and my first impression if you want to know what my thoughts are on the products and how they work and a little demo on them and swatches then just keep on watching so the first thing that I'm going to be using is the nip and fab contour palette in dark I got the dark one because I really like the orange colour in it and this camel kind of colour as well and I thought I could use this colour to set my under eyes which I'll be trying first. Here are the swatches of the palette and um, the first row, these three are the first row and then that's the second, the bottom row. So that's just to kind of show you. Just from kind of swatching them, they look really, really pigmented. They feel really nice and soft as well, which is really nice. Yeah, there's nothing really to complain about the formula, but we'll see how it goes on the skin, which is the most important part. But anyways, I'm going to use some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I did buy all these things online, so that's why I didn't get any of like the base stuff, like foundation concealer, because I didn't want the shade to be wrong, and you can't really return it if you do use it, so... That's why I just stuck to like palettes and you know things that I know would suit me. So I'm going to use this colour right here to set my under eyes. It does look like it has a bit of sparkle on it but we'll see. I mean, it's not that bad actually. It kind of like brightens. It's actually kind of like the Kat Von D uh, loose setting powder because that has a bit of a sparkle but once you put it on the skin it, you can't really tell. Um, so this is reminding me of that powder. I actually really love how like it's setting my concealer. I think it did a pretty good job. The only thing is that like, when you pick up product there's a lot of fallout. It's making me wonder how like the eyeshadows will work out but I don't really mind that. I just blow it off. <laughs> Then I'm going to use the camel colour just to like bronze up my skin lightly. I mean that's pretty. I actually really like a camel kind of colour as a bronzer. I'm then going to use the darkest colour in the palette right here just to slightly contour. I mean it's super pigmented like I took a bit too much there like literally you just need to dab your brush in there I want there to be like a harsh line so I'm just like blending it slightly that's a nice contour colour now I'm going to use the orange colour it's like super bright, like it's a very bright orange colour and I'm going to use this as like a blush but these are so pigmented, like I just dabbed it okay you can always take like your first brush like with the lighter colour just to like soft up, soften up the edges just to make everything blend nicely together I actually really like that brush it's like a little nice peachy kind of colour on the cheeks so the only two colours that I didn't use was the, were these two middle ones just these three alone can be used as a bronzer on my skin so like I could use any of these and it's nice to have the choice I feel like but definitely my favourite colour is the camel and the orange <laughs> that's why I actually got it I really like how the setting powder worked actually like it feels it actually set really nicely and the colour's not too bright. I feel like it would adapt to like any kind of dark skin tone. So definitely a thumbs up for this. I would definitely recommend it. And you have three options. So there's like light, medium and dark. So yeah. The next palette I got is the Stroboscopic palette. It really reminds me of the Anastasia Glow Kits. I don't know why but it has that vibe to it. So these three colours is the top row. From left to right and this is the bottom row. In terms of like the formula, the lightest colour feels more rough and like dry compared to the other ones for some reason. But 
they still feel kind of like soft like the others feel very creamy like creamy soft I'm really drawing towards this color right here for some reason so I'm going to use that on one side so there's no question that they're not pigmented enough like that is such a nice glow and I like the fact that it's not sparkly like it gives a nice a nice glow look at that I'm going to use the other side of the brush and use this one right here. This is like more of like a mauve -y. It looks more mauve. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god, that's so pigmented. So that one's definitely more pigmented for some reason. The first one was definitely more subtle and I did use my brush in the same way. I think I'm going to use the bronze. I want to see how the darker one looks like on me. Okay, I swelled the first brush in some tissue, so it should be fine. I'm gonna see how it'll look like. Like, it's definitely going yellow on my skin. This is like, it will definitely be like a colour that if you're like deeper skin, this would be like a perfect highlight, highlight for you. But I just love the fact that they cater to all skin tones. Because you've got your super pale one for like pale, pale skin tones. And your super dark one for really deep skin tones. And then you've got your in-betweens. I just think it's perfect. Like it just caters to every skin tone. But that's obviously not a highlighter for my colour right now. I could probably use it in summer. I'm going to try the banana one right here. That one's really nice as well. It's definitely one I could wear. I'm going to use the this one which I haven't used. I feel like this would be like good for like light light to medium skin tones. I'm going to use that on my nose. So pigmented like. Boop. But they are all really nice. Like I couldn't wear that one. It gives like a yellow gold cast on my skin. This one is okay, but I would have to be really careful that to not go overboard. But these two are just perfect for my skin tone. I'm going to use a palest, palest one right here. Like in the inner corner. That's super like bright. I wouldn't be able to use it. But do you know what? Like the palest one goes the more... It feels like the most chalky. And like when I'm applying it, I'm seeing chunks. So that was the one that's a bit funny in my opinion. Like when you swatch it, like can you see? Like it's not even, it feel, it looks funny. But then if I swatch my favourite one, it's more metallic. Can you guys see that? So yeah, the palest one does feel a bit funny. And I, I kind of know that with like lighter colours it can be harder to get like a great formula. But do you know what? love this palette i don't care about the playlist one and i tried to use all of the colors for you guys so i hope that was helpful but definitely my two favorite colors are these two right here okay so the next thing that i got is the eyeshadow palette it's called number one sculpted um they only have one it looks really bad online like i didn't know if i wanted it but looking at it on now like it's actually okay make the camera's actually kind of washing it out a bit like the lighting but it's actually, I'm holding it far so you can see true colour of it. Like, it's actually quite dark. So the first colour I'm going to use is this banana light one here. This is kind of like my base. I'm also really drawn to this like peachy colour right here. So I'm going to use that in my crease. So far, so good. Like that's really nice like that's a nice transition color for like every day i'm also gonna go in with this color right here just to define the crease i think i'm going to use this color right here just to define the outer corner Kind of smoking that bit out. I mean the eyeshadows are blending really nicely. They're pigmented. 
they are showing up on my skin tone there's no fallout like some eyeshadows do I'm going to use the palest white colour right here I'm just going to I just highlighted the brow bone I'm just going to go with this nice shimmery colour right here The eyeshadows feel really soft as well. I'm now going to take the darkest colour in the palette, it's like a dark grey. Use this like a smoky eyeliner. I'm mostly concentrating it on the outer corner. And again, like there's no fallout. I, was, I thought there would be some fallout with this one, but there's no fallout with it really. I'm just going to take some of the soft brown and use that underneath. This is like the transition colour that we used. Then I'm going to use some of the grey again, like really, really close to the lash line. And just like buff that out. I'm like having so much fun with this palette right now. I think that's really nice. Okay, I'm going to be right back and I'm going to just put some mascara on. Okay, so I've just finished applying mascara and I think the eyeshadow looks really nice. Like, the eyes just look super natural with a bit of smokiness to it. And, I don't know, I just really, really like the way this looks. Like, it's just so perfect for, like, every day. Yeah, definitely another thumbs up for the eyeshadow palette. You could even use this peachy colour, like, all over the lid. I think that it would look really nice. You can definitely create, like, more dramatic looks with these colours right here. The quality is, like, really good. Like, there's no fallout whatsoever. It's pigmented. They blend like a dream. So, yeah, really happy with this. The next thing I got is a Nip and Fab liquid lipstick and I got the shade cinnamon it looks the most brown on the website so yeah I'm I'm scared it'll be a bit too light to be honest but oh it's so hard to open but we'll see my lips feel so dry I really love the colour like the colour is really nice I want to see how it dries but it's a bit light for me so I'm going to take a darker lip liner and just line them around my lips just to make it a bit more wearable for my skin tone and my lips are like really damaged like bleeding right there so please excuse the state on my lips today. <laughs> I think that's a bit better like with the lip liner but it feels really sticky like Can you guys see them? It's it's more on the stickier side, I would say. Definitely something I would wear because I don't have a colour like this. It's like a peachy nude. So if you're like lighter skin than me, I think this colour would be perfect. But for me, it is more... I feel like on the lighter side, like you can see, I need to put a bit more lip liner. But yeah, you get the idea. I think the colour is still nice. Like, I would actually wear this. I think it's really nice. But it is more on the sticky side. But other than that, it does apply nice and evenly. And it kind of smoothed my lips out. I really like the fact how they all in are individually wrapped. So no one can go touch these. Even though they are individually wrapped, they're easy to take off. Okay, so this is the primer water. Like, this is the most exciting thing. Oh my god. You guys know that my favourite, favourite, favourite setting spray is the Smashbox primer water. Um, so I'm going to see how this feels. I'm going to just spray it for a bit. It's definitely a hard spray. Oh. Oh my god. That's like... I feel like a hose just went on my face right now. It's definitely a strong spray. Like... Let me just try again. I'm going to try this again because this doesn't feel right. I don't know what. There's just something wrong with this. I'm going to try and press quickly. Oh, let me dry it off before I give you my thoughts on it. Oh my god, it's not fully dry right now, but that spray literally feels like someone's like using a water gun on your face. Like, it's so... It's definitely really strong. Like, I tried to press it in one go. I tried different ways of spraying it, but it's definitely a full... And if you don't press it properly, it kind of spits at you. I don't know. 
I mean, it doesn't ruin your makeup or anything, but it definitely lets out a lot of product. Like, I would definitely say to use this sparingly, but I can tell instantly, like, it's just made everything, like, blend together. It's made my, this side of the highlight stand out more. Like, it's definitely really nice. But I'm going to wear this, like, throughout the day, and I will leave in the info box what I finally think about, like, the um, setting spray. Um, and see what it really does for the makeup so I will write it in the info box by tonight I definitely instantly see that it kind of melts everything together and just right intensifies your highlight like it doesn't make it it makes it look less powdery like makes everything sink into your skin I don't know I'm not I'm happy that I got it and it kind of looks like a thick liquid in the bottle so that's kind of like the final look using a few nip and fab products I mean I'm actually really really happy about these like these palettes you need to go get some because these are so good but like I said I'm really happy I will let you know what I think about the primer water um just check the info box but yeah I think that's all I have to say guys if you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to my channel let me know your thoughts on the new makeup range by nip and fab in the comments below if you have tried them already I would love to know also write down what your favorite products are so far from their range Thanks so much for watching guys and um, I love you so much and I will see you next time. Bye!